the editor in action. The following demonstrates a typical editing method. We'll use the crossfade editor and the four-point cut functions to correct classic recording errors. The current project contains three takes from a classic recording. At the end of the first take, there is a crackle that can be heard, while at the end of the second take, a sound is played at the wrong time. The third take does not contain any errors and is added onto the end to correct the mistimed sound. The second take is used to replace the crackle from take one. And this is how all three takes sound. We'll use the four-point cut function to roughly compile the three parts into one. First of all, a range has to be selected over the first object, and the in and out source points have to be selected. This can be done via the key shortcuts Control Home and Control End. We then place the In Destination marker into the target track and carry out the cut with the Insert Cut button. Here, the In Destination marker can be set at the end of the new object for the next cut. Next, we drag a range over the second object to just in front of the error. Here too, the Control Home and Control End commands can be used. This sets the in and out source markers back to the range ends. One click on the Insert Cut button adds the selected material to the selected object in the destination track. The In Destination marker is also set to the end of the new object. The last part is transferred to the destination track with the same method. Here we have one track which contains a rough compilation of the music track. However, we still have to work on the transitions to make sure that the cuts won't be audible. To work on the first transition, click on the second object in the track, which then enables the crossfade editor to be started via the button in the symbol list. The editing function can also be used to customize each object in the crossfade editor. In our example, the lower object, which is the fade in object, is moved with the edit function until the audio parts equal one another. You can quickly switch to the crossfade by clicking on the Next button. This is the part in which the recording error has occurred. Here too, the editing function is used to match the position of the audio material. Since all audio parts are now in place, we can edit the individual fade curves. We already have a setting which we saved using the right button in the preset section. This setting can be opened at any time and applied to the current crossfades. Now all settings have been made and we can listen to the finished piece.